legend has it that one day, a new king will come. Who will use the power of the trident to put Atlantis back together again. It's the exact spot that Volko gave me my first swimming lesson. I already know how to swim. Not even close. You have to forget all the teaching of the surface world. Go deeper. One cover your Atlantean instincts. He spent his entire life training. Training to be the best. My parents made me what I am. I am the protector of the deep. In this trident resides the power of Atlantis. In the wrong hands, it would bring destruction. But in the hands of the true heir, it would unite above and below. The time has come for Atlantis to rise again. We must stop him. And how do you propose we do that? By retrieving this. I already got one of those. Not like this one, you don't. The war is coming to the surface, whether you like it or not. Your mother always knew you were special. If you believed, you'd be the one to unite our two worlds. Atlantis has always had a king. Now I need something more. But what could be greater than a king? A hero. For me, the most important thing is the story that I'm telling. Whether it's a scary set piece or a dramatic moment, it all comes down to the characters and if you care about them. Aquaman is very powerful, but what drives him comes from a very human place. His story resonated with me instantly. He's not accepted here, not really accepted here. I definitely could identify with that. I fell in love with the project and fell in love with Mira. She's no damsel in distress. She's a strong, badass, empowered superhero. With Aquaman, the trick and also part of the fun is designing a whole different world that we've never seen before. You're pretty much just limited by your own imagination. There's just a whole lot of magic on this project. Once they put all these things together behind James's vision, it blows my mind still. The appeal of it was to step into something else. You really are invigorated because of it. You get to experience all these amazing worlds. We haven't been under the ocean yet. This is our outer space. I keep going back to that inherent fascination that we have with the ocean, and if it turned on you. Just the sheer vastness and the mystery of it, there's still a lot we don't know. I've always known that I want to do an action movie. I get to be a big kid on the playground and cause trouble, blow things up. Your body is constantly working. We do judo, jiu-jitsu, fight choreography. After four and a half months of stunt training, six days a week, you feel pretty superhuman. I get to present Aquaman to the world in this really badass and cool way. We have never seen this on screen. And that's, that's the truth. You get to fall in love with the idea of what it's like to have these powers and be a kid. And that's fun for the family, it's fun for everyone. We want to create something interesting. We don't want the standard. James Wan can't do the standard. 
any great superhero story should make you feel that you've learned something from these characters and you yourself have the ability to do good. And you don't need a cape to be able to do that.